In today's video, protein distribution and research. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. Happy Monday. Hope you're getting ready to have an awesome 4th of July. Today's video is going to be around the topic of protein distribution. This is, without a doubt, one of the most common discussions that we as physique athletes, bodybuilders, performance athletes have. And this month, the monthly application in strength sport came out and my man Eric Helms did a great review of some interesting research that came out. So I'm gonna link that below. If you're interested in purchasing and reviewing the articles of Mass, just know that you're getting the latest on evidence-based approaches to muscle building, performance, all the things that we're interested in. Every now and then someone will say to me, hey Paul, how do you know so much? And I'll say this, it's a few reasons. A, I'm old and I've been around a long time, but B, I surround myself with very smart people. Eric Helms is someone who I would consider very smart and who is very interested in a lot of the same things I am. So it's very cool that we can support Mass. Now, Mass is put together by three amazing people, okay? So you got Greg Knuckles, you got Mike Zordos, you got Eric Helms. They are reviewing all the research that's out there and telling us how it applies to what we do as coaches, what we do as physique enthusiasts, strength enthusiasts. It's great information for you guys. So a lot of people often ask me, how do we get to be coaches or how do we learn enough to be coaches? Well, this is how it starts, by getting yourself in the conversation with what's going on in the world of evidence-based nutrition and training practices. Links below, check it out. So usually I do a review of the articles that come out, but Eric does such a good job with the review of this study, I'm not really gonna go into that. I'm gonna tell you practically what I believe, what I feel is best for protein distribution, what I've seen over my years. You see, 20 years ago or so, when I first started really paying attention to my protein distribution and how much I was getting per day, a lot of the research out there was lacking. And so we were left with what was magazine articles? What were the pros doing? What were the bros doing? And so you got to follow Jay Cutler's diet leading up to the Olympia. So much to the point where as a 200 pound bodybuilder at the time, I tried taking in two grams per pound of body weight. That's right, 400 grams of protein per day. And I did this for a while. Not only did it cost me a lot and give me a lot of gas, but I did not get any beneficial results from that because in the face of eating all that protein, I probably didn't get enough carbohydrates and fats. My diet wasn't well-rounded. So what do I do now as a coach? What do I recommend? And I'm just gonna tell you guys straight out. My recommendations for protein distribution are based around a couple things. First of all, what are your goals? And then what does your lifestyle allow? Is it better to get six meals a day than three? Depends on your lifestyle. I don't generally recommend six meals per day for a few reasons, because I do believe that we need to space protein out by at least three to five hours. That's right, sometimes up to five or six hours, because there is a refractory period of protein synthesis. You can actually stack your protein meals too close together. Perhaps that would lead to non-beneficial results. So the number I shoot for, for myself, four to five hours. I like to eat a large bolus of protein every four to five hours. Why? Because I feel like it's a good sized meal. I like fullness, I like satiety. And if I'm eating every two hours, you don't get that. You get these little tiny meals throughout the day, right? So if I'm eating every four hours, how many meals do I get? Generally, I get four meals per day, sometimes as many as five, depending on how many hours I'm awake. That's what I suggest for my clients, okay? For my athletes, to anyone that asks me. Four large protein meals per day. Now, for someone like me that is getting 250 grams of protein a day, that means my meals can be in the 70, 80 gram of protein range, okay? So, those are some pretty large meals for me, okay? 60, 70 grams of protein in a single sitting really makes me feel like I've eaten a meal, which is great. So when someone is eating, let's say 130, 150 grams of protein, you're going to feel like you ate. This is a part of my strategy as a coach. I, I, I'm sure that there are people out there that love eating every two hours because they always feel, 
they always feel like uh, their metabolism is burning because they always feel hungry. But I don't really believe that hunger is that associated with metabolism, okay? Hunger is more associated with the frequency with which you eat. Your body prepares you to eat by making you hungry based on the pattern that you're normally using. If we can spread our meals out every four or five hours, a few positive things happen here. Potentially, the benefit muscle protein synthesis, right? Secondly, if you're eating every four or five hours, when you eat, you've got a while to your next meal. You don't have to be so focused. I've done the two hour meal. You know what happens when you're done eating? You gotta think about when your next meal is, where you're gonna be. Are you leaving the house? Are you gonna be back in time to eat? Do you gotta bring your meal with you? That can get annoying, okay? And it's unnecessary because switching to the four or five hour meal also allows you to feel full when you eat. You can do other things with your day. Hey, if you don't eat every two hours, you're fine. If you don't eat every four hours, you're fine. Five or six hours, you can still be fine. I think the psychological damage that we do thinking we need to eat all the time is much more hard on us than, than our bodies would even care for as long as the daily total is hit. That's right. Now, when it comes to protein, I do believe we need to break it up. Even though I will say that the daily total is the most important thing, meaning, okay, let's say you're supposed to hit 200 grams of protein, carbs, and fats. The breaking up of the protein into four meals or five meals, 40 or 50 grams of protein per meal, I feel that is more important, okay, than how we break up the fats and the carbs. I believe, based on what I've seen, that we need to be getting a little bit of fat in each meal, five to 10 grams. Helps with digestion, helps with anabolism, okay? Carbohydrates. I prefer to have them based around the times we need them, before and after training. But that's not essential. None of this is essential, okay? These are just my opinions on the thing based on my goals, my physique goals. And as bodybuilders, I like to have protein broken up into four or five meals, three to six hours apart based on your schedule, okay? If you are only up a few hours, I notice on the weekends, I tend to sleep in a little more, so maybe I only have four. But during the week, when I get up earlier, stay up a little bit later, maybe I break it up into five meals. That's just what I have seen as beneficial. Now, if you want more information, you want to really dig into this, then click the link below, go into mass, look at the study they did on how adding protein throughout the day between meals affected lean body mass as well as fat mass. I think you'll find it very interesting. Eric also does a great job of breaking down kind of the history of protein distribution theory, where it comes from. Brad Schoenfeld has some new research out that discusses the fact that muscle protein synthesis isn't the only thing at play here. There's also muscle protein breakdown. And for those of us that are interested in long-term progress, muscle hypertrophy is a better indicator of success then these acute changes that are happening. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. It's Monday, I just got back from a long weekend, as many of you know. I have lots of footage from the NPC universe where we had a great time with the athletes, and I'll be getting into that later in the week, but mass just came out at the beginning of the month, as they always do, so I wanted to discuss this. I wanted to wet your whistle, so you click the link below. Hope you guys are having an awesome week, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.